Hello and welcome to my channel. This is the second lecture in my series on nationalism and today I will briefly talk about the French philosopher Ernest Renan's take on nationalism. Actually he is one of the earliest Europeans to describe the nation and not the nation state but the nation itself and what he suggests is that he starts his speech by saying a nation is a soul and a spiritual principle, two things. And that it has two things that bring it together. One is the common past and the other is the present. Okay. When he talks about the past, what he's saying is that most of the times groups of people and nations that share a history of common glory right think of themselves as a nation come together and that past decides for them the present and ultimately has a say in how to construct the future but then he also goes on to say is that compared to the past glories and grand works that a group of people might have accomplished a catalog of common sufferings actually is a stronger bond to form a nation so most of the times if a group of people have suffered together and survived and strived, that kind of becomes a bond for a nation to be defined. And then he makes another interesting argument that a nation is a daily plebiscite. Okay, so it has a past which brings it to present. It can be past of the glory but most of the times it's a past of common suffering that structures the present and then launches the future. But it's a daily plebiscite and that means that within their souls of souls, people every day through their free will agree to be part of a nation and that's very crucial because it then tells us that a nation is not natural, it's historically constructed through common suffering or through common glory. But within that, each individual carries in his or her soul and will the capacity to renew their relationship with their nation every single day. And then towards the end, he gives a sort of a formal explanation of the term, which I'm going to read out and then uh, unpack, right? He says, man is not enslaved, nor is his race, nor his language, nor his religion, nor the course of rivers, nor the direction of the mountain ranges. A great aggregation of men with a healthy spirit and warmth of heart create a moral conscience, which is called a nation. When this moral conscience proves its strength by sacrifices that demand abdication of the individual for the benefit of the community, it is legitimate and it has a right to exist. Right? So let's go back to it. That, that a great group of people and their conscience comes together to define a nation. And then these are people who sometimes sacrifice their personal good, personal welfare or personal interest for the larger interest of the nation, right? And when that happens, when people out of their own free will acknowledge something larger than themselves as their national community and sacrifice even themselves for it, is when a nation comes to me and that when that happens in his view it is the nation becomes a moral principle and it like any other thing in nature has a right to exist so this is Ernest Renan uh, I will see if I can find a free resource on his uh, speech in translation and I'll post it in the uh, links below but this is his take on the concept of the nation. This is all for this lecture and I will keep uh, recording more lectures in this series on nationalism. If you have any questions, any concerns, any suggestions, please post them in the comments and if you like 
these uh, brief lectures and these thoughts that I share with you, please do subscribe. And as always, I'm grateful to you. And as always, peace and love to you all.